Welcome to 1000 PS TV. Today we compare the Vespa GTS 125 and the GTS 300 in all four versions. Vespa's GTS scooters remain absolute favorites among scooter riders and have undergone a major update in 2023. But which one should you buy? Here's our decision-making guide. Vespa offers four different GTS model types. The classically elegant GTS with the typical chrome add-on parts and classic color variations. The modern GTS Super with sporty color variations. The sporty GTS Super Sport with now for the first time standard black accessories. And the absolute top model the GTS Super Tech, which promises the most technologically. Let's talk about the performance of the GTS 125 and GTS 300. The 125 model is equipped with a single-cylinder, four-stroke, four-valve, high-get engine which delivers a smooth 14 horsepower at 8,750 rpm and 12 Nm at 6,750 rpm. Super Sporty comes the 300 cubic centimeter engine, sing single-cylinder, four-stroke, four-valve, high-performance engine with a maximum power of 23.8 horsepower at 8,250 rpm and a maximum torque of 26 Nm at 5,250 rpm. There were no innovations in the engines themselves, but some other components of the Vespa were revised, improved and redesigned. More modern and aesthetically it now stands there, but the Vespa still remains true to its character. Now to the ergonomics and equipment of the Vespa GTS models. The shape of the seat is more ergonomic, more narrow at the front, becoming wider at the back for more comfort. The lighting system is now for the first time completely LED and the speedometer, thanks to 3 inches LCD window, much easier to read. A major innovation is the keyless go system, which is integrated on all models. The controls on the handlebars have been rearranged for easier steering. Diamond-shaped mirrors provide a sleeker appearance and many optical changes in the design have been made to make the Vespa appear even more noble and elegant. The Vespa brings more stability and safety for 2023. The most exciting highlight, however, is the completely redesigned front wheel suspension. A new component has been implemented, an additional strut which introduces more stability and therefore a more comfortable and safer ride can be felt. This new component, in conjunction with the revised brake system, provide a significantly better deceleration on the asphalt, according to Vespa even by almost 10%. The brake caliper, and the rear brake cylinder are now from Brembo, while we have a Nissan caliper at the front. There are a few differences between the Vespa 300 and Vespa 125. Apart from the engine and a few small visual details, only the trained eye of a Vespisti allows to spot the difference. The chassis, rims, seat, dimensions of the helmet storage as well as the electronics and technical gadgets are completely identical. Only the weight of the 300 is marginally heavier and it has a larger tank capacity. Since both the 125 and the 300 are available in all of the four model types, the question now arises as to which would be more suitable. And so each motorization speaks for itself. Let's talk about the prices of the Vespa GTS in Austria. Price-wise, the models are not far apart, which is why you ask yourself, why not go for the more powerful one? More power, nor fun. Also the monthly costs. In terms of insurance and engine-related tax differ only by a few euros. Which Vespa scooter is suited for whom? What is the advantage of the 125 cubic centimeter model? If you only have the license for cars, but still want to enjoy the Vespa lifestyle, and now want to flip practically and briskly through the city, you can quickly help yourself to the dream with a one-day course, the code 111. This makes the entry into the world of the Vespisti quite easy, and you have the opportunity to get used to the Italian lifestyle and get to know the benefits of a single track vehicle as you elegantly, casually pass the car standing in the traffic jam. In general, 125 cubic centimeter would be enough in the city, but for those who also ride cross country or on the highway, the 300 cubic centimeter is definitely better. If you already have a motorcycle driving license, the more powerful version makes more sense due to the not so high price difference. It is simply an additional fun factor when you have more power available and is always the first away from the traffic lights. Conclusion on the Vespa GTS 125 and GTS 300.
Of course, the extra power and more fun also requires more fuel. So the 125 shows a consumption of 2.6 liters per 100 kilometers, and the 300 is 3.3 liters per 100 kilometers. Now you decide for yourself whether you want to be economical or have fun on the road. Sporty, sexy and elegant one feels obviously on both engine variants. Thanks for watching this video. Drop us a note in the comments which model you like best. Subscribe to our channel and you won't miss another video. See you soon.